Good morning Year 4 and this is your maths video for if you've got this booklet on Thursday the 14th of January. Now for today's learning we're going to be looking at page number 4 okay? and that page is all about place value and ordering so it's thinking about what your number is worth and maybe putting them in order from smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest. So let's have a look at our first question. So question number one is asking you to write down the largest and then the smallest number that you can make using these digits. Now you can only use the digits that are shown on each question. So for A, you can only use the digits two, three and one. And you've got to muddle the order up to create the biggest number possible and the smallest number possible. So I've got an example on my whiteboard. Now I've got the digits eight, one and two. And I've got to start by making my biggest number. Now to make my biggest number, I know I've got to put my biggest digit first and that's my number eight. And then after that, it's going to be my next digit now I know that two is bigger than one so if I put the two there and then the one that makes my biggest number and to make my smallest number I'm going to put my smallest digit at the start in the hundreds column and that's my one and then my two and then my eight so you can see that by just using those three digits I've been able to create the number 821 as my biggest number and for my smallest number I've made the number 128. Now you've got a few questions to do like that year four but please make sure that you're only using the digits that are in each question. Okay now question number two then. So this is asking you to write the correct numbers in the boxes and you'll notice here on A where most of it has been done for you that what we've done is we've partitioned our digits so here we've got 6,972 and we've broken that down to show the 6,970 does anybody know what my last number would be? Okay, so you've got to split your numbers into the thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. Now your final set of questions for today. I always think these questions are a little bit tricky because there are so many numbers for you to work through. And it's asking you to arrange these numbers in order in the boxes. And if you have a look, you'll see that we're ordering them from lowest or smallest to the highest. Now whenever I do questions like this I start by looking for my smallest numbers and because all of my numbers are three digit numbers I'm going to start by looking for a number that's got a one in my hundreds column because I know that means my number is the smallest three digit number it can be. So I've got the number 131 in my one hundreds 123 in my 100s and 102 in my 100s and I've just marked those off in my book using a highlighter and I'm going to look at those three numbers and think which of those is the smallest. Now I know because 102 doesn't have any tens that, that makes it my smallest. I'm going to add that in the box where it says lowest. 102 and then so I don't forget that I've used it I'm going to cross that number off put a little cross through it so I know I've already done that one and then I'll look through my other highlighted numbers to put them in order and then once I've done them and crossed those out I'll then look for any numbers that are in the 200s and keep going until I finished now remember that once you finish today's learning you're going to take a picture of it and send it to the year 4 email address. I can't wait to see how well you've done. 